Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how paper chromatography can be used to separate substances in a mixture. We've been looking at the four ways that scientists use to separate mixtures. We've seen filtration, crystallization, and distillation, including both simple and fractional distillation. Now, another separation technique used by scientists is called chromatography. This is really useful and there are several different ways of carrying this out. In this video, we're going to look at paper chromatography, so let's get started. The first thing to remember is that all separation techniques, including paper chromatography, are physical processes. That means that they do not involve chemical reactions and no new substances are made. Paper chromatography allows us to separate substances based on their different solubilities. Let's look at an example. Imagine that I have a collection of coloured pens such as these. I want to know which pens contain only one colour and which pens contain a mixture of colours. We take a piece of special paper called chromatography paper and we draw a pencil line near the bottom like this. Next, we put a dot of our first colour on the pencil line and next to it, we put a dot of our second colour. We can do this for several colours as long as there's enough space on the paper. We now place the bottom of the paper into a solvent. Remember that a solvent is a liquid that will dissolve substances, and there are lots of different solvents. Now here's a really important part. The solvent now makes its way up the paper and it dissolves the ink in the two coloured dots. And these are now carried up the paper as well. Now here are a couple of facts that you need to learn. We call the paper the stationary phase because it doesn't move. And we call the solvent the mobile phase, and that's because the solvent moves. So after a while, the paper could look like this. As you can see, the red colour has formed a single spot, and we can see that here. Because there's only one spot, we know that the red colour is a single pure substance. However, we can see that colour B has now separated into two different spots, and that tells us that colour B was actually a mixture of two different substances. Now, paper chromatography works because each chemical in the mixture will be attracted to the stationary phase, in other words, the paper, to a different extent. Chemicals that are strongly attracted to the stationary phase won't move very far. But chemicals that are only weakly attracted will move further up the paper. Here's another important fact. A pure chemical will produce a single spot in all solvents, whereas the chemicals in a mixture may separate into different spots depending on the solvent. I've shown you that with these two diagrams. These show the experiment again, but this time repeated with a different solvent. You can see that the red colour still produces a single spot, even if we change the solvent. The position of the spot may change, but it's still a single spot. One question which is often asked in exams is, why do we draw a starting line in pencil? That's because if we drew the line in pen, the pen ink would move up the paper with the solvent. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on paper chromatography in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.